Hi students, today we are going to draw and shade a human sketch. To draw this human sketch, we require one pencil and paper. First, we have to construct the structure of the human sketch. First, I am drawing the face over here, just taking circle and drawing face structure like this, this way. Now, here I am drawing eyes, this must be in slant and angle, exactly middle of this size means from here to here, I am taking exactly middle eyes and here between this eyes and the chin part exactly middle I am drawing nose and between this nose and chin middle I am drawing lips. This way we have to divide the details of the face. Now I am making ear from eye level to nose level and if you observe this part of the face is very small and this part of the face is bigger because the angle of the face is bit one third and the head is not exactly straight it is bit slant in angle it is not straight bit a little bit slant in angle after drawing this now i'm drawing shoulder one shoulder here bit up and one shoulder down little this point of the shoulder little down this point of the shoulder little up and here it is little bit dark. Here we are starting taking hands. This is the one point, this is the one point to continue the hands. This part of the body, this part of the shoulder is bit smaller than this. Little smaller, just we have to show a slight difference between two shoulders. It can be little bigger, it should be little smaller like that. Now here the body is in this angle is in a relaxing posture now this is the body this is the body now from here legs and one leg is here like he kept little up this way one leg and one leg is here but we are not drawing leg here we are going to cover some fruits over here it is basically we are drawing now fruit seller so we are covering with the fruits this part like this now here we drawing leg and here we drawing hand and here is the fold of the hand this is the hand and here another hand like this and now we are trying to draw the dress part like a coat here one line and here draw neck and draw another line of the coat like this now here Draw coat like this, and here draw another coat like another side of the coat part. This way, 
after drawing this here we are going to draw some details in the face first I am drawing as we are not uh, showing very clear details simply I am showing nose this way and next here after nose just lips I am drawing here I left some gap between nose and lip and here moustache like this and here the lower lip and from here I'm drawing beard like this here beard I did like this next here the face structure like this after this part I am drawing third ball on the hair like this this way here well now here we have to show some a uh, few more folds like this like this so that head part uh, we are almost done now just slightly shadings we are doing simple shadings here I shaded and here I shaded a little dark for eye and here this part of the cheek I shaded like this now this part this eye part also I am shading like other eye here we are not doing any details just simply we shading make, making darker I am not doing any details of the eye just I did this portion little darker that's it hold and here shade on the face and here lightly I shade on the forehead and here also lightly I shade it now this beard down I am shading before that I will finish this ear now this neck part I am shading just thin lines like folds and here also some shadow of the beard like this this way the face part we have done yes now this shut inside this coat I am doing
inside the coat just folds on the shirt and here some shadow of this coat lightly here a shadow of the face on the coat how we showing light and darks and shadows that is very very important here some folds on the coat like this folds on the coat and here you show some dark shadow behind this coat between this hand and coat like this so this hand part we have done almost now here lightly you shade now this side of the coat i am doing now like this here some darkness you show after here inside to make some shadow on the shirt now here the shirt line you continue like this you see here thin stroke and here little darker again here little darker this way and here this folds of the shirt you show like this like this this way and here also show some folds on the shirt little darker here also now next here do some light shades on the dress now here you do some dark separation of the hand and coat every uh, small small shading part is very very important to highlight the shading this way now here you just shade like this simply and here you leave some light here some fold of the shirt a little darker and here little lighter this way you can show some dark folds at this elbow area this this way this hand we have done now next fingers i am going to do this is one finger and this is another finger here another finger here another finger after drawing fingers here draw thumb balls and this down part of the fingers you shade some dark cut highlight the fingers here also you show separation of the 
fingers and above part of the hand here show some shadow inside the shirt like this and shade this way now this part of the coat and here surroundings of the fingers show some darkness to highlight this coat and hand both of the things let's say we have done the hand part now after doing hand part this part here surroundings of the vegetables here we have done some vegetables uh, or fruit something we did here like this and here we show some cloth on the table now you just give some shades on this vegetable like this and show the shadows of the vegetables here little darker here also show the depth now here you put some dark shade to show some vegetable or fruit effect this now here just take a table outline like this here some shadow of the cloth this thing and here also some shadows of the cloth and here also you show the table and cloth here you shade some Exactly. Like this. here show some light shade like that this way i have done this table simply after now we have to do some shut part here some shadow of the shirt the main thing how we start with the basic structure of the human sketch that is very very important
to construct perfectly now this is the leg part here i did and this is the pant look at this here some folds on the pant some shades on the pant leg the pant part and leg is done now the surrounding surface uh, place here also i'm drawing some fruit roughly undetailed uh, drawing i'm doing there here i'm highlighting this pant with the dark shade here also inside this pant also i am highlighting with the dark shade like this this way also here also i shaded some darkly the surroundings of him and here something some undetailed objects which are looking surroundings of this cellar like this surroundings of the him you draw some undetailed areas this just some background effect i have done Look children, if you follow the previous videos what I have uploaded, you will understand more better to do these uh, things because everything is uh, placed in order. So if you follow perfectly then you will understand more better how to share these human sketches perfectly and neatly. All the videos you can watch. There is no restrictions to watch only your class videos. It's better to if you watch all the class videos.
all the videos if you watch that will give you more knowledge try to watch and understand more better to do this artwork easy way now here also some background i'm doing till darkly this way here also some shades something is filling like a uh, some empty boxes surrounding so him and randomly placed objects uh, so that we are not giving any particular need correct details this way we have to do the sketching here some designs i am doing on this turbal here some pattern on this thermal and here some shadows on it okay students this way we have to do pencil sketching and shading it okay you also try by trying few sketches you will understand more better to do perfectly uh, it is not like uh, by doing one sketch you will get more perfection it is like regular process you should keep on doing then only you will understand more better to present it appropriate way okay okay student you also try this and try few more sketches from the photograph if you choose live photograph and if you practice from the photograph any human sketch like outdoor uh, like any bus stops uh, locations or any railway station locations if you capture or if you download photographs and if you try from the photographs 
to try to convert into human scale like a um, pencil sketching you will understand more better how to balance the light and darks okay all the best